Right now, a Queens family is considering a lawsuit after the death of a nine-month-old puppy on a United flight in March. The family says it was forced to put the dog down, put the dog in, I should say, an overhead bin, but that's when the dog suffocated. Eyewitness News reporter Lauren Glassberg here now with more. Lauren. Uh, Diana and Bill, of the 24 pets that died on U.S. commercial carriers last year, 18 of them were on United flights, according to the Department of Transportation, and one of them belonged to a Queens family. That family now knows how their puppy died, and they want justice. He was smart, intelligent. He... He was like one of a kind. 11-year-old Sofia Ceballos loved her French bulldog, a $6,000 birthday gift from her stepdad. But nine-month-old Coquito died March 12th on board a United Airlines flight from Houston to New York's LaGuardia Airport. A flight attendant would not let the family from Queens put the dog under the seat, but instead made him go in an overhead bin, despite the fact that they paid for the dog to travel on board. Sophia and her mother, who was traveling with her two-month-old baby, didn't like the idea but felt compelled to do what the attendant said. I thought it was wrong. At the same time, I, I trusted her because she, she probably knew that there was air up there. But there wasn't much air in the bin because according to the newly released necropsy report by Cornell University in Ithaca, the cause of death is suffocation, a death that could have been avoided according to the family's attorney. The airline knew that Coquito was on the plane, and yet they did nothing to preserve Coquito's safety. United says it takes full responsibility for Coquito's death and refunded the family's tickets, but the family is considering a lawsuit. Meanwhile, there are two criminal investigations, one in Houston and one in Queens. The dog was suffocated. It was entombed in the overhead bin. Uh, it was treated like a piece of luggage. It was a living, breathing family member. Now, United has reevaluated its pet travel policies since March. It announced yesterday that it has partnered with Animal Humane to improve safety of pets that are traveling, and it has resumed operations for PetSafe. That is the program for pets that go in the cargo hold. But United is now banning more than 20 breeds from flying in cargo because they are prone to breathing problems, including French bulldogs. But again, Coquito was not flying cargo, but had a ticket to travel on board with his owners.